Hey guys, welcome back to Real Estate Inform, the channel that keep, keeps you up to date on all things real estate. My name is Kevin, and today I wanna to talk about the videos that we made previously about uh, what the Federal Reserve had said about uh, doubling their taper, uh, ending the taper, being finished with the taper by um, like basically being down to zero, buying zero bonds by March, and then having no gap and just straight raising interest rates. And I gave you guys all the information. Um, I think in a previous video, I also talked about how you, the UK did did an instant on December 16th did an instantaneous rate uh, interest rate hike uh, because they thought inflation was getting way out of hand um, so I basically want to say uh, is my opinions on the situation and am I sticking with my 40-year mortgage thing am I sticking with them they not not tapering and so I just want to do a video on that so um, oops as I move the uh, desk and my whole setup uh, okay so yes I do believe that the Federal Reserve is lying to you. Um, I believe that uh, they're well known for this. They did this in 2008 before the collapse. They said everything was okay. We had a little bit of a hiccup. Um, I think the guy's name, uh, Bernanke. Good old Benny Bernanke. Now, I don't know if his name, first name was Benny, but definitely his last name was Bernanke. And I remember him like yesterday. Um, and so, yeah, he was he he came out and he said that we had a little hiccup, everything's good now, yada yada yada. BS. Absolute BS. You have to understand that the, the job of the Federal Reserve is to keep the people that are supporting them, which is aka wealthy rich people and rich corporations, and they have to keep the economy afloat. If they crash the economy, those companies, those rich people also lose um, a lot of money. So it's just, it's in his best interest to keep asset prices high because you keep those people rich. Um, and I know that's very unfortunate. So I there's no doubt in my mind that they're lying to you. I, I think that they're lying to you. They can say that they're gonna taper. They say they're gonna raise interest rates. I think it's just, uh, I did a video on this. Man, you gotta go back. But I think, you know, it's, it's like the Federal Reserve like tricking you or basically, you know, saying, hey, we're gonna raise rates, go buy houses now. Well, uh, we're gonna raise rates. And then they'll even do a little bit of a rate hike, just a small one. I, they did one at the end of, I believe, September uh, from like 2.7 to like 2.8 or 2.9. Um, uh, and there was a little bit of a jump and the people started panicking and we got uh, the rush here in Seattle again, even though real estate was slowing down from the third week of July, August and all of September. And then it, we, it came right back because the Federal Reserve had done that. Uh, they, they basically like scare you into buying a house and saying, Hey, we will, will increase rates. So I think that, um, there's going to be a rush of home buying. There's just not enough houses on the market, but I think there'll be a rush of home buying uh, January through March. Um, also, I think that a lot more inventory is going to come to the market because a lot of people who are waiting on the sidelines, waiting to sell their house, now know that March is the day. Uh, at the end of March, they're going to raise in interest rates, which means that their property values are going to drop because that's just normally uh, they're inversely related. So uh, they know that they're going to have to sell between uh, January and March. So that's another thing to uh, keep an eye out for. Uh, but that's just the, what J Jerome Powell is saying, the Federal Reserve is saying, and how the people are going to react to it. My opinion is they're not raising interest rates. They're not going to taper. They're probably going to bring back 40 year, uh, bring back, or they're going to bring 40 year mortgages to keep kicking this can down the road. Um, that's just my personal opinion because they've lied in the past. They continue, the, uh, inflation is transitory. Now they want to retire the word transitory. It's absolute BS. It's nonsense. They're kicking the road down. They're kicking the can down the road. Um, kicking the road down. Well, they're kicking the road, the can. They're kicking everything down uh, because they don't want to uh, crash the market. And they'll do anything. At least this administration will do anything to kick the can down the road until the next administration steps in and then have it collapse. Um, so. In my personal opinion, are they going to taper? Are they going to raise um, interest rates in March? That's my professional opinion. Once again, I'm not telling you how to invest. I'm not telling you what to do. That's just my opinion. And that's what I believe. And it's based off of their actions in the past and how um, they just try to scare people into, hey, we're going to go, interest rates are going to go from three to 5%. Could you imagine trying to buy a million dollar home or a $2 million home and your mortgage at, uh, you know, at 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 three percent or two point seven percent is going to be like you know say four thousand five thousand bucks and then it goes to five percent and now you're looking at like sixty five hundred to seventy five hundred dollars worth of a mortgage for the same house um that's a big deal um so 
a lot of people um, are, are are trying to you know mitigate that and try to go like let's just buy a house now yada 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 and it's basically forcing the economy to keep rotating is what they're doing is by scaring people into it saying that we're going to rate increase rate hikes we're going to do this we're going to do that and don't even get me into the inflation readings because their um, CPI data on um, uh, you know the inflation and whatnot I, I believe they pick and choose certain categories to make the, to make the inflation rate look more like six to seven percent when in actuality if you took everything into account it's probably over ten percent um once again that's just my, me that's my opinion please don't take this as final financial advice but i do believe uh once again they're not going to raise the interest rates if anything uh 40 year mortgages probably you know within the next six months to a year will come if it gets worse um if it just stays the same i guess maybe maybe not but if it gets worse um we'll probably see that so that's my whole opinion on what the federal reserve said um on uh, the 15th of december and i think that they're liars and i think that um you know they're just trying to keep their people happy and the and their people are very wealthy and they have um high, they need to keep asset values high um so they're never going to do anything to, you know, deter that. Um, so once again, that's my opinion. Uh, I'm sticking to it. I, I just don't see it. I mean, th these are the same uh, Federal Reserve that said the in uh, inflation is transitory. And then they come out with a straight face and say, you know what, maybe it's not. And it's like, guess what? In March, they're going to be like, yeah, we're not going to raise interest rates. And people are just going to be bum rushing to buy houses from january to march um it's going to be a crazy beginning of the year i'll tell you that much because lots of people are going to come to market because they're going to be like oh, my house isn't going to be going to be worth as much after march as it is before so let's you know sell it and then a lot of buyers so the market's going to go crazy just like it was this uh th it was crazy this uh 2021 january through about um uh, april or may it was crazy so um, I have no doubt that they're going to come in March and be like, you know what, let's just hold off on the interest rates. We're seeing how the market adjusts, yada, yada, yada. And guess what? He's already said that. There was a Q&A after the meeting, this meeting or the meeting before, where he said that, um, you know, we're going to rate interest rates in March, da, 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 But then he said, we will assess the market at that time, which basically kind of leaves the door open for him. Maybe we won't. So anyways, those are my opinions. Uh, I will see you on the next video. Please like and subscribe. All right, thanks guys, bye.